In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the execute component action action in a workflow. The first thing to know is that you will only be able to use this workflow action on components that have actions configured. Here, for example, we're on the video element in the Web of Assets in GitHub. So our components are open source. You can access them on GitHub. And here, if we go to the config file, we see that there are some actions that are defined where we can potentially play the video, pause the video, or move inside the video. So in WeWeb, what we did is we added a video element, a simple video element, and we uploaded a file and we have this uh, nice video that we can play around with. We disabled the controls so that we could build our own custom controls, which are essentially four buttons. And then on each button, we added a workflow. In the workflow, the first one is to go back 15 seconds. So we said, you know, component with action is this uh, WeWeb video element. The action we want to use is the seek to action. So remember in the config file, it would be this action here. And we will want to time it. We bound it to minus 15, so it will be minus 15 seconds. We did something similar on the play button. In this case, we are using the play action. Similar on the pause button, using the pause action in the plus 15 seconds. You guessed it. We added 15. So we set 15 here. We could have said uh, we could have bound to plus 15. It will work either way. All right. So now back on our page in preview mode, if I click play, pause the video, I can move 15 seconds. I can move back 15 seconds. I can play again and I can pause it. That's it. That's how you execute component actions in a workflow.